Hello. Today I will uh, present you a homework on uh, calculation of uh, uh, gradient and Hessian of uh, function of uh, several variables. So suppose we have a function f of x where x is a vector in Rn. And uh, first I remind you that uh, gradient is a vector of uh, partial derivatives. Also, one can look uh, on the gradient uh, uh, via um, definition of function differential. Uh, function differential is a scalar prod product of gradient with differential of x. And this formula uh, will help us to compute uh, gradients practically. Uh, let's look at example. Uh, we have such combined function f of x is phi of ax. x is a vector, a is a matrix. So we multiply vector by in matrix and take some uh, non-linear function of uh, several variables. Matrix may be a rectangle or so. Phi is maybe function of m variables, where m is different from m. Uh, how would I uh, develop formula for a uh, gradient of this function? I, vi I will not finish it, it's your homework, but I just will uh, give you a hint. So, uh, let me denote this product as uh, other var variable, say u. And, uh, uh, of course, knowing uh, dx, I can get uh, what it will be differential du. It's just a multiplied by dx. And now uh, I am ready to answer the question, uh, what will be df? Uh, df uh, will be gradient it's by definition of gradient of phi uh, gradient of phi um, inner product with uh, du okay i just give you a brief idea what should be done you can accomplish my uh, calculation and uh, then you should uh, finally get uh, df as inner product of x with something and this something will exactly give you gradient of uh, f okay so th this will be a very simple part of your homework to accomplish this development And uh, now I remind you what is a Hessian of a multivariate function. Uh, Hessian is a matrix of uh, mixed uh, second derivatives, partial second der derivatives. This is a quadratic and a symmetric matrix. And uh, we also will denote uh, to shorten our uh, expressions, uh, gradient uh, of f as g and uh, Hessian as h. And a uh, very important property is that uh, differential of g is uh, h multiplied by dx. And this formula is uh, very convenient for developing Hessian of complicated function we don't need uh, to do this uh, coordinate-wise work. And uh, again, uh, getting back to our example, after you get expression for the gradient of f, uh, you just should think what will be differential of the gradient given dx. 
again in in expression of gradient you you will find multiplication by some matrices and product of matrix uh, with some argument differential of this product is matrix multiplied by differential of argument and you also will find the uh, derivatives of some multivariate function and uh, differential of this is first derivative is second derivative multiplied by dx and so on so th this will be your homework to develop a formula for gradient and uh, for the Hessian of uh, this function And as a second example, I, I will ask you to find uh, gradient uh, and Hessian of this uh, chain expression. So x is a vector, n-dimensional vector. f of x is a function, scalar function of vector variable. And uh, phi is a scalar function of scalar variable. So we know gradient of f and we know derivative of phi, let's say. And we also know Hessian of f and second de derivative of phi. And I will ask you to develop formula for gradient and for the Hessian of this expression. Again, try to follow the notion of differential. Now, uh, you should also be able to check whether your analytical computations of uh, gradient and Hessian are correct and one of good way to do it is to perform numerical differentiation. For example, uh, I have a function, say in MATLAB, which is able to compute function value given x. Uh, then, uh, using finite differences, I can uh, estimate gradient. It's it just to add uh, to each uh, 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 coordinate of x sequentially uh, a value epsilon. So e1 is a vector with all zeros but one at the, at the position 1. e2 vector with all zeros and one at position 2 and so on. So you, I, I uh, just uh, compute its so-called central difference. It's better than forward difference. You can read Wikipedia about this. And, uh, and the epsilon, I use some uh, small number and the recommendation is uh, to take square root of so-called machine epsilon, the smallest reasonable number which you add uh, to floating point 1 and it changes the value of your argument. And uh, for uh, standard uh, computers, this is about 2 by 10 to the power minus 16. So you should uh, take square roots, so 10 to the power of minus 8 approximately. And uh, also a recommendation is multiplied by absolute value of xi if it uh, differs uh, significantly from 1. So this is your epsilon. Now, uh, if I want uh, to compute Hessian numerically, I could uh, compute second derivatives numerically in all this uh, Hessian matrix, but uh, it would be a rather large computational work. If somebody already has a function which analytically computes gradient, then I can uh, compute Hessian numerically in a much more economical way. Uh, I ask you to verify this and to think why it is correct. Uh, you can uh, compute uh, column i of h as a whole 
just uh, considering a difference of gradient. So you add uh, to uh, to the argument uh, uh, epsilon to at i coordinate. So compute this central di difference, and this uh, exactly will uh, give you a column of h. So and. Uh, I, I would ask you also to perform a MATLAB exercise. First of all, uh, you have these two examples of function which you need analytically to compute, uh, to develop gradient and Hessian. So, and program those functions as MATLAB functions. So, like example written here. So it gets uh, x, and it may get some structure with parameters, for example, uh, matrix A is needed and something else. And uh, it returns a function value, vector of gradient and the Hessian matrix. Just be careful in programming. If number of ar arguments is uh, less than three, don't compute uh, the things which you don't need currently. Uh, uh, and uh, arc in. I think narg in. This is a MATLAB variable which you have inside your function. Uh, uh, sl sl ex excuse me, narg out. Uh, inside of your function to know how many arguments was used uh, were used in call of this function. So if you have uh, just one argument in the function call. You will not. You should not compute uh, gradient and Hessian, for, for example. Okay, and uh, I also suggest you to do another MATLAB function, which uh, given user function, say my func, and uh, argument will uh, compute uh, gradient uh, and Hessian numerically. Where final, final differences, and then you will have a set of tools uh, to check yourself. So you first develop this function for those two examples, then give it as an input for uh, numerical differentiation, some random access, and uh, check yourself whether. Uh, the difference uh, between uh, those two, numerical and analytical, will be reasonable. Check uh, Wikipedia numerical differentiation to know what accuracy are you expected from uh, finite differences procedure. Uh, I believe the third derivative, the third derivatives of your function will influence, for example, gradient, uh, ac ac accuracy of numerical gradient. Uh, okay. And uh, again, I remind you, when uh, computing Hessian numerically, it's much better to use uh, analytical calculation of gradients. Then you compute Hessian column by column. You need only n uh, gradient evaluations to compute Hessian. And uh, one more remark, even from those examples which I sug suggested you, you can see that the computing function and computing gradient, uh, which was developed analytically, is about the same uh, amount of computation up to a small uh, scalar constant, say like up to three even less. And uh, the same uh, is uh, to compute one column of Hessian or multiply Hessian by arbitrary vector. So you, you should know that when, whenever are you able, uh, you should use uh, analytical uh, de derivatives and not use uh, numerical differentiation. Just uh, use numerical differentiation to check yourself with the uh, small examples. 
small scale examples. For example, you develop general expression for gradient and say uh, now you choose x of dimension 10 or 20 or, and so on and check whether your formula work in, uh, correct in your MATLAB code. Uh, also, there is uh, the existing area, uh, so-called algorithmic differentiation. Uh, algorithmic differentiation, uh, which uh, says if if one has a um, say MATLAB code or Fortran code or C code which uh, computes uh, function value given x, it is possible to develop automatically a, say MATLAB function which will compute gradient or, or which will compute Hessian. Uh, this uh, area of automatic differentiation is very important. You can try uh, to look over internet the tools and uh, see whether you will be able writing just a function which compute uh, function value get the automatically function which compute gradients okay thank you and good luck